नमस्कार व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट डिफरेंट रिस्ट्रक्शन मेथड आफ्टर गेस्टेक्टमी द मेन रिस्ट्रक्शन टेक्निक डिस्कस्ड आर रू एंड बाई डबल टाइप रिकन ईसोफिगो गेस्टोस्टमी एंड लू गेस्टोजिनोस्टमी दीज रिस्ट्रक्शन टेक्निक्स आर रिक्वायर्ड आफ्टर टोटल डिजिटल एंड प्रॉक्सिंग रिस्ट्रक्शन we have reviewed the relevant literature uh, regarding these techniques and which technique is to be uh, followed uh, in the uh, different circumstances we have also discussed about about double tract reconstruction in lab gastro uh, lab proximal gastrectomy uh, in which we have demonstrated the technique in a live video and uh, also in the uh, video on recent advances on uh, cs stomach i will give the link to those the videos in description and in this video also so mainly the reconstruction method after gastrectomy are in the fig a it is showing double track reconstruction after proximal gastrectomy that we will bring a loop of jejunum in a uh, ruin by manner uh, to esophago jejunostomy gastrogenostomy and jejunostomy another option after proximal uh, after distal gastrectomy that is fig b will be uh, double tract reconstruction in the form of gastrogenostomy uh, duodenostomy and jejunostomy and in the fig c that is after total gastrectomy the double tract reconstruction is uh, possible in the form of esophagogenostomy duodenostomy and jejunostomy briefly the double tract reconstruction method is preferred because it uh, enable the endoscopic access to the ampulla which is a big advantage because in future if there is any uh, need for endoscopic access to the ampulla or the cbd for example in case of uh, cbd stone or periampullary malignancy then this route is easily available another advantage is in case of proximal gastrectomy the remnant stomach that is distal stomach is available for the food uh, a uh, food and patient can have one time meal viewers please uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon uh, for future important updates so other options after uh, gastrectomy are in the fig d that is uh, after proximal gastrectomy we can do esophago gastrostomy we will uh, pull the remnant stomach to the esophagus and do the esophago gastrostomy or it can be in the form of roux and by that will uh, bring the roux loop and we do gastrogenostomy and jejunostomy or roux and by after total gastrectomy that is esophagogenostomy and jejunostomy in this part in the roux and by uh, the difference between dtr and roux and by is that we will not do the anastomosis with the duodenum or the remnant stomach we will review the uh, benefits of these techniques in the subsequent part of the video so stay tuned so important question often asked is why not esophago gastrostomy after laparoscopic or open proximal gastrectomy that as i said we will bring the remnant stomach and as anastomosis with the Uh, 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 esophagus that will do esophago gastrostomy and we will avoid extra suture lines uh, in a study by abrutani et al the incidence of both reflux esophagitis and asthmatic stricture was studied in this study there were 19 patient in the double track reconstruction and 22 patient in the esophago gastrostomy group the reflux symptom were higher that is 10.5% uh, uh, versus 54 Point five percent, and it was statically significant, and also PPI use was higher in case of esophago gastrostomy, and it is uh, easier to understand that when we bring the stomach with the uh, gastrin-producing uh, antrum in C2, there is a uh, and there is a production of acid, and there is no uh, bowel which will prevent the reflux of the acid into the esophagus, which is there in the normal anatomy. that esophago uh, gastric junction will prevent the reflux of the acid into the esophagus so there are higher reflux symptoms and a higher anastomotic structure subsequent to this uh, ref reflux of acid so uh, they also reported that anastomotic structure were higher 0 versus 27% uh, in, in the 
ECP of the Shospin group. So uh, from this study, uh, they recommended that um, after proximal gastrectomy, uh, double type re-extraction is preferable method as compared to the ECP of the Shospin, especially in the young patient who have long life to live and there are higher chance of reflux, Barrett's and anastomotic stricture. In the same study, uh, this is the uh, by Abertani et al, uh, which was published in uh, 2017. This is the schematic illustration of double track re-extraction and fluoroscopy using diatrojet megalumin and diatrojet sodium as the contrast medium and it showed that the medium passing through the remnant stomach and the rest of rest directly to the genome. So uh, when the patient uh, swallowed the uh, contrast media, it went into the uh, remnant stomach which is visible in this x-ray film and into the genome. So both the, uh, the distal stomach was available for the food and it was going into the genome also. So patient can have one time meal that was the advantage of double tag reconstruction and uh, also uh, there is an easier access to the ampulla as I said endoscopically. This is another uh, important study by Rosa et al uh, which is published in Gastric Cancer in 2018 and in which they study the total versus proximal gastrectomy for adenocarcinoma upper third of stomach. A propensity score matched analysis of a multi-center western experience on behalf of the Italian search group for gastric cancer. So for uh, Proximal one third uh, CA stomach, they did total gastrectomy only proximal gastrectomy, and in the total gastrectomy group, they did ruined by, and in the proximal gastrectomy group, they did esophago gastrostomy. And they reported, as highlighted, that the anastomotic leak was higher in the proximal gastrectomy group, uh, though it was not statically significant, but the reflex esophagitis and anastomotic suture both were statically significant in the uh, proximal gastrectomy group followed by esophago gastrostomy. This is another study, uh, a comparative study of double tag reconstruction and ruined by gastrectomy for gastric cancer by Jan Hong et al. Uh, published in 2019. In this study, 595 patient uh, were studies, uh, it is a review article which included 595 patient and uh, total eight study. And, uh, uh, in this meta there are 262 double track reconstruction and three, uh, 333 ruined by reconstruction. From this study, uh, from this meta analysis, they reported that there was no significant difference in the operative time. And uh, out of eight study, two study reported time to first filters, which showed no significant difference after meta analysis. And there was significant shorter time to oral trach in uh, double track reconstruction than ruined by. The length of hospital stay post operative complication was similar in the both group and albumin level there was no significant difference at 6 and 12 months after the surgery. This is an important article and I request the viewers to go through this meta analysis. Uh, the first plot comparing body weight change at 2 years after surgery showed the decrease of body weight was significantly more in the ruined Y group than the double type reconstruction at 2 years after surgery. So the authors concluded that DTR is better as compared to ruined by. Another important question uh, which is there or often asked by the trainees is how much it should be the length of the interpose segment between the esophagus and the stomach. The previously interpose genome uh, in the DTR was more than or uh, roughly equal to 30 cm. Long digital interposition segment between esophagus and stomach created difficulty for the endoscope during post of follow up. Uh, long digital segment more than 20 cm did not reduce the reflex incidence of acid into the esophagus. The interposed genome was 10 cm in DTR group in the study by Ahen et al. and 15 cm uh, in the group by Nomura et al. So 10 to 15 cm interposed digital segment may be appropriate length to prevent the reflex esophagitis symptoms. As given in this picture, uh, the esophagus to uh, remnant stomach, this segment should be approximately 10 to 15 cm and from stomach to the digitogenostomy site, it should be around uh, 20 to 25 cm. This is another important study by Lee et al published in World Journal of Surgical Oncology in 2019. In, in this study, 
uh, about comparison of three digestive tract reconstruction of uh, for the treatment of severe type 2 and type 3 dinocarcinoma by esophageal gastric junction it is this was a randomized prospective randomized control study uh, in this uh, study they compare single tract reconstruction in which they did uh, the ruling was brought up and they did esophago uh, esophago gastrostomy and gastrogenostomy and uncut separate was fired distal to the gastrogenostomy site that is there uh, in the uh, first figure uh, as single tract reconstruction uh, and, and double tract reconstruction was same as we discussed that was esophago gastrostomy gastrogenostomy and gastrogenostomy this study the difference in body weight hemogram total serum protein serum albumin and blood vitamin uh, b12 between uh, three groups at 3 6 12 and 18 months after the surgery they also study the basic score which is used to evaluate the gastroesophageal reflux symptom and basic grade 1 is when patient is asymptomatic basic grade 2 is when patient has occasional symptom and basic grade 3 is a uh, patient has apparent symptom but he these are uh, tolerable and basic grade 4 is apparent and intolerable symptoms the authors reported that the uh, basic score grade 4 was more in uh, total gastrectomy followed by ru and y reconstruction method and it was statically significant and they also found that single track reconstruction uh, that is when we fire uncut stapler uh, distal to the uh, gastrogenostomy site was better. This is a review article by Shenje et al. published in uh, 2020 about digestic tract reconstruction option after laparoscopic gastrectomy or gastric cancer that is after uh, distal gastrectomy. So in this study they found that there were mainly four types of reconstruction methods commonly reported all over the world. The figure A was Billroth reconstruction that in which we do distal gastrectomy followed by gastrodrenostomy. Second is Billroth 2 with brown modification in which we bring the loop of jejunum and do gastrogenostomy and uh, in between the loop we add jejunogenostomy to prevent the reflux of the bile. Third was Ru and Y and fourth was uncut ru and y in which we fire a uh, uncut stepper distal to the gastrogenostomy and add brown anastomosis, brown anastomosis that is genogenostomy to prevent the reflux of the contents the author reported that this delta shaped anastomosis uh, is the most common intracorporeal uh, one anastomosis after uh, laparoscopic distal gastrectomy and it was first reported by Kanaha et al. Uh, published in 2002 in Journal uh, of American College of Surgeon. Uh, in this technique, uh, authors reported that distal gastrectomy is performed and that dental valve is transected in bento dorsal direction. That is, we fired a stapler vertically uh, and follow, following which endoscopic linear stapler is used to create the anastomosis and closure of the common stab is a common uh, stab is done with the help of another endogei stapler this is the interoperative uh, picture given in the same journal that uh, in the first picture the dsl is distal stapler line duodenal stapler line and uh, d is duodenum and uh, pssl is proximal stomach stapler line after transaction and as I said, the duodenum is divided bento dorsally in a vertical manner. And also, we introduce a stapler, uh, uh, endogei stapler, and it is fired. This will create a V-shaped anastomosis between stomach and duodenum. And uh, the entrotomy site is closed with the help of another endogei linear stapler. So, uh, this is the most common delta shaped nostril technique followed after laparoscopic distal gastrectomy all over the world. What are the advantage of Villar 2 reconstruction? The advantage is that there is no tension on the anastomotic stoma uh, and there is no need to dissociate much of duodenum and there is no specific requirement for the location of the tumors. Villar 2 is indicated in case Villar 1 is inappropriate. But the limitation is reflex gastritis 
block two with brown mod uh, brown modification that is genosinostomy added uh, to re reduce the incidence of reflux. Park et al. reported that there is a high incidence of bile reflux in Bicloth uh, 2 with brown anastomosis 43.3%. Okay. So, uh, as far as ruined by uh, reconstruction is concerned, uh, it reduces food residue, uh, esophagitis, gastritis, and bile reflux uh, in the follow up endoscopic findings than the Bicloth 1 or Bicloth 2. But it's a more complicated procedure. Uh, as there are two anastomoses and extra suture lines are added in the form of genogenostomy. 10 to 30 patients will experience a rustasis syndrome in the form of vomiting, swelling, nausea, post prandial pain uh, in, uh, after ruined by reconstruction. Uh, in uncut ruined by, uh, with modification of Vigor 2 with brown anastomosis, the genogastric pathway is included, but uh, that will add a uh, blind loop. Uh, to the anastomosis. So, uh, there is no prospective randomized controlled trial about proximal gastrectomy and total gastrectomy in uh, proximal one third CA stomach. Uh, the retrospective, retrospective studies uh, survival rates are comparable. Uh, the various reconstruction methods after proximal gastrectomy remains controversial. Esophago gastrostomy after proximal gastrectomy is the simplest procedure. Significantly more frequent reflex is there, uh, and which is 16.2 uh, uh, to 42 percent versus 0.5 to 3.7 percent, and symptom of reflux as well as stenosis at the anastomosis site are higher. And at all, and Ahan at all uh, reported that the proximal gastrectomy with esophageal gastrostomy is inferior surgical method to total gastrectomy. The jejunal interpretation in the form of uh, double track reconstruction is another option after proximal gastrectomy and it beneficial in the context of nutritional parameters anemia and dumpy syndrome. After proximal gastrectomy, double track reconstruction is a preferred method uh, as far as the literature is concerned because it, it, there is less the chance of flux and anastomotic structure especially in younger people. After distal gastrectomy, again ruined by or DTR is preferred method as I have already discussed in detail that in the DTR uh, double track reconstruction there is a endoscopic access to the ampulla. So friends, we should try to incorporate double track reconstruction in our practice because literature is biased towards this method. As far as the proximal gastrectomy is concerned, we have no clear cut answer but Total gastrectomy and proximal gastrectomy, they are equally reported with favorable survival advantage in the literature. Esophageal gastrostomy is to be avoided if possible and uh, double track reconstruction or ruined by reconstruction should be the preferred method of, preferred method of reconstruction after total gastrectomy, distal gastrectomy or proximal gastrectomy. Thanks for watching viewers. I hope we will we were able to add some new insight to your knowledge. Channel subscription is free for a lifetime. Knowledge is invaluable. Please like, subscribe and share the content. Thanks for watching again. Happy learning.